All right, um, module three, assignment three, open a PDF in Word. So uh, this also is covered in chapter two in your book. Um, you can see how to open a PDF document in Word. All right, so we're gonna download our document. And then I'm gonna look at it in Finder. Um, if you're operating on a PC, it will be the little folder icon. Uh, if you're on a Mac, it's called Finder. They are the same things, just have slightly different style between the two operating systems. All right, I'm going to come to my document. I see it here as a PDF. I'm going to right click on it. And then I'm going to go select with or open with Word. Okay. All right, so now I have opened this PDF document in Word. So now I'm going to go to the instruction set. It says navigate using your file manager, open with, done that. And then we're going to select another app if Word is not available. Um, if Word, click on more apps, select Word, and then edit the file in Word. So the first thing we're going to do is to remove the TM after Mail Frontier and Mail and Phishing on the first page. Some of you um, got partial credit because we didn't um, remove it in both places or you removed the wrong TM uh, from the document. So I'm gonna view, I'm gonna blow my view up to the page width so we can see this a little bit better. All right, so again, I'm removing the TM after Mail Frontier and Phishing. I'm gonna scroll down until I find that. Okay, so let's see. That's not it. Oh, I see gateway. All right. So, where's the TM after Mail Frontier and Phishing on the first page? All right. Mail Frontier Phishing. So, there's that one. And then, I'll delete this one. And this one. So there's three places on the first page that I see that. All right. So next, let's see. Next, I'm going to change the word Mail Frontier to Cartoon. Okay. So there's a couple ways to do this. The first one is to hit your Control F and you'll get a little search box. I could say Mail Frontier. All right. Now it's showing me, it's highlighted in the document, all the places that this occurs. So I'm going to click on this drop down and I'm going to say replace. I'm going to get, um, you know, I have some options here. I'm going to click advanced find and replace at the moment just so we can kind of look at it. So depending on if you're on, uh, again, a Mac or PC, these look slightly different. But this is, you know, control F and then kind of in the drop down, open it so that you can see. All right. So what happens if I say match case in this document? So only those that have this exact case will be highlighted now. So I'm going to say find next. We reached the end of the search and couldn't find any matches. Hmm. Do you want to search again from the beginning? I'm going to say no. Now I'm going to just see what happens if... I do a capital F and I say find next. Oh, well now it's found more instances for me. So that's just something to call out that, you know, if you have this selected, it'll impact what it finds if you don't spell it exactly right. So I'm going to unselect it at the moment. It's just anytime Mail Frontier comes in, I am going to replace it with cartoon. Now make sure you're replaced with, you said specifically, you know, the case you want as well. And then I'm just going to replace all. It made four replacements for me. All right. So I'm going to go back in the document now and see if it did all of it. No, it didn't. So we're going to do that again. Mail Frontier. Replace this cartoon. And I think it's because I had gone to find next. There we did 10 replacements. So in total, there should be 14 replacements in the document. Okay. Change whatever else you want in the document. I don't like red. So I'm going to 
I'm going to make some adjustments to the style. I like purple more. Let's see. Now, this is a heading. So what I want to do is I'm going to open my styles pane and click on apply style. So modify the style. I'm going to update it to match the selection. And now all of the headings throughout the document are changed to the one that I liked without me individually having to go through each one and do it. I'm also going to do it here and update that. I'm going to save it and then I'm going to submit it. And that is Module three, assignment two, you know, just a call out, depending on the computer, you may have to um, going to either open Word first and then do it or right click and say open with. Uh, it's just going to depend on your operating system. You will earn four points for showing that you edited this PDF, um, but you will save it as a Word document when you go to save. So that is under here, save as and make sure that you have selected Word document here. Go ahead and save it where you want it to, and then you are done. Okay, so that is